So in this video, we'll look at the reaction, the net ionic equation for FeCl3 plus CoCl2. This is iron three chloride. This is cobalt two chloride. And the question really here is whether there is a reaction if a precipitate forms. So if you know your solubility rules, chlorides are very soluble. So this iron three chloride, that'll be aqueous. It'll dissolve and dissociate into its ions. And this cobalt two chloride here, that will also dissolve, dissociate into its ions. So if we look at the products that we might end up with, we could say the iron would go with the chloride and we'd end up with FeCl3, which is kind of what we started with. The cobalt, that could bond with the chloride. Cobalt can be CoCl3 or it could be CoCl2. I would expect it to be CoCl2 here. That's a bit more common. And we have the same reactants as we do in the products. And these, of course, would both be aqueous, so really, there's just nothing happening here. There's no reactants. You start out with these ions in your beaker and your test tube, you'd end up with the same thing. So in answer to our question, FeCl3 plus CoCl2, we really have no reaction. We can't write a net ionic equation and there'll be no precipitate. So nothing will fall to the bottom of the test tube because nothing's changed. This is Dr. B and thanks for watching.